Hello, I hope you're having a great week. Here today we're going to talk about something that's going to save you thousands of dollars. This video shows you what 95% of diesel owners don't know about keeping their engines running past 200,000 miles, so make sure you stay until the end. Most diesel owners never get past 200,000 miles on their engine. They end up with expensive repairs, premature breakdowns, and constant headaches with maintenance. But I'm going to share with you the seven simple habits that helped my diesel go past 400,000 miles. And trust me, these aren't what most people think. These aren't complicated maintenance procedures or expensive modifications. These are quiet daily habits that build up over time to create dramatically different results. Some of them might even surprise you because they go against common beliefs. Make sure you watch until the end because habit number seven costs almost nothing but prevents the most expensive diesel failures. Let me be clear from the start. I'm not talking about babying your diesel or avoiding hard work. My vehicle has towed heavy loads, worked in extreme temperatures, and racked up serious miles in tough conditions. These habits work precisely because they're practical and sustainable for real-world use. Habit number one. I change my oil every 5,000 miles regardless of what the manual says. Modern diesels have oil change intervals that can stretch to 10,000 or even 15,000 miles. The manufacturers aren't lying when they say the oil can technically last that long. But here's what they don't tell you about the real world. Diesel engines are hard on oil. They produce more soot, more acid, and more contamination than gasoline engines. Your EGR system recirculates exhaust gases that dirty the oil faster. Your diesel particulate filter regeneration cycles create extreme heat that breaks down the oil's chemistry. I've seen oil analysis reports from diesels at 8,000 miles that looked okay on paper, but the engine still developed bearing wear and carbon buildup. The oil might be chemically stable, but it's lost its protective additives and accumulated contaminants that the analysis doesn't fully capture. Changing oil every 5,000 miles costs about $300 more per year than following the 10,000-mile schedule. Over 100,000 miles, that's $1,500 extra in oil changes. Compare that to a single engine rebuild at $15,000 and the math becomes obvious. Fresh oil is cheap insurance. It carries away contaminants, maintains proper lubrication under extreme loads, and gives you a safety margin that extended intervals simply can't provide. Habit number two, I regularly use my engine's full RPM range. This goes against everything most diesel owners believe, but it's crucial for long-term health. I regularly take my engine to 3,000 RPM and occasionally to 4,000 RPM under appropriate conditions. Modern diesels are designed to handle these speeds safely. The red line exists for a reason, and staying well below it, while occasionally using the full power band, actually helps your engine in several ways. High RPM operation burns off carbon deposits that build up during low-speed driving. It helps complete diesel particulate filter regeneration cycles more efficiently. It keeps your turbocharger clean and your valve train properly exercised. Many diesel owners are scared of RPMs above 2,000, thinking they're damaging the engine. The opposite is actually true. Diesels that never see high RPMs develop carbon problems, incomplete regeneration cycles, and component wear due to chronic underuse. I'm not suggesting you rev your engine to redline constantly, but using the full designed operating range prevents problems that hit diesels operated only at low RPM. Driver, this mistake of never revving up, everyone makes it at least once. We think we're protecting the engine, but in reality, we're hurting it. Habit number three. I warm up properly and cool down consistently. This isn't about long, idle times. It's about understanding heat cycles and protecting expensive components. I never load my engine hard until it reaches normal operating temperature. Cold diesel fuel doesn't atomize correctly. Cold oil doesn't flow properly, and cold metal expands differently than hot metal. Demanding full power from a cold diesel creates wear patterns that add up over hundreds of thousands of miles. My warm-up routine is simple. 
I start the engine, let it idle for 30 seconds while I check mirrors and adjust settings. Then I drive gently for the first five minutes. No full throttle, no heavy loads, just normal acceleration and moderate power demands. Cooling down is just as important. After hard driving, towing, or high load operation, I let the engine idle for 30 to 60 seconds before shutting down. This allows the turbocharger to cool gradually with proper oil flow, preventing heat soak and extending turbo life. These thermal management habits cost nothing, but prevent thousands of dollars in turbocharger and engine damage over the vehicle's lifetime. Habit number four, I maintain my fuel system religiously. The fuel system is the heart of diesel performance and longevity. I change fuel filters every 15,000 miles regardless of the recommended interval. I use high quality diesel fuel whenever possible and I add a fuel system cleaner every 10,000 miles without fail. Modern diesel injection systems operate at pressures exceeding 30,000 PSI. Even microscopic contamination can cause expensive failures. Water in diesel fuel is particularly destructive, causing corrosion and bacterial growth that can destroy injection components. I regularly check my water separator and drain it whenever I see moisture. I avoid gas stations with visibly old or contaminated fuel. I keep my tank as full as possible to minimize condensation. Fuel system cleaner isn't just maintenance theater. High quality cleaners designed for common rail systems actually dissolve deposits that form in injectors and combustion chambers. A $20 bottle of cleaner every 10,000 miles prevents injector problems that can cost $3,000 to repair. Clean fuel systems run more efficiently, produce fewer emissions, and last dramatically longer than neglected systems. Habit number five, I pay attention to my cooling system. Diesels generate more heat than gasoline engines, and overheating even once can cause permanent damage. I check coolant levels monthly, not just when problems occur. I flush my cooling system every 60,000 miles with the appropriate type of coolant for my engine. I never mix coolant types and I never use plain water except in emergencies. I replace the radiator cap every few years because it's a critical pressure component that wears out. I keep my radiator clean on the outside, removing debris from the fins and ensuring proper airflow. A partially blocked radiator can cause overheating underload, leading to head gasket failures and engine damage. Most importantly, I address cooling system problems immediately. A small leak quickly becomes a big problem. A failing thermostat can cause overheating or excessive cooling, both harmful to engine longevity. Cooling system maintenance isn't glamorous, but overheating kills more diesel engines than almost any other single cause. Habit number six, I drive my diesel like I mean it. This might seem contradictory to longevity advice, but diesels are designed to work. They thrive under load when operated correctly. Babying a diesel actually creates more problems than working it appropriately. I don't avoid towing or hauling when that's what the vehicle was designed for. I don't crawl up hills in the wrong gear to save fuel. I don't let it idle for long periods trying to be gentle with the engine. Instead, I operate my diesel in its designed power band. I downshift going up hills to keep RPMs in the optimal range. I let the engine work under load rather than lugging it at low RPM. Diesels that work regularly stay cleaner, run more efficiently, and develop fewer problems than diesels that are constantly underused. The key is working the engine properly within its design parameters, not avoiding work completely. This approach has kept my diesel reliable and powerful throughout its 400,000-mile life. Habit number seven. I keep detailed records and address small problems immediately. This habit might seem minor, but it's prevented more expensive failures than anything else I do. I keep a maintenance log with dates, mileage, and details of every service. I note unusual sounds, vibrations, or performance changes. I photograph problem areas and track their progression over time. When something seems off, I investigate immediately rather than hoping it goes away. A slight vibration might indicate a failing engine mount. An occasionally rough idle could signal injector problems. A small coolant leak often precedes a major cooling system failure. By catching problems early, I've prevented countless major breakdowns. 
A $200 repair caught early often prevents a $5,000 disaster later. I also maintain relationships with qualified diesel technicians who know my vehicle's history. Having someone familiar with your specific diesel who can spot developing problems is invaluable for long-term reliability. Detailed records help identify patterns and predict when components might need attention. They also provide valuable information when selling or trading the vehicle. Here's the thing about these seven habits. None of them are revolutionary or expensive. They're all based on understanding how diesel engines work and what they need to thrive over hundreds of thousands of miles. The magic isn't in any single habit, it's in the consistent application of all of them over time. They compound and reinforce each other to create a level of reliability that most diesel owners never experience. From my experience, I think it's this consistency that makes all the difference. I'll explain this to you simply. These habits don't require being a mechanical expert. They just require being attentive and regular in your actions. A well-maintained diesel can easily exceed 400,000 miles and even go beyond. It's an investment that pays for itself handsomely in the long run. If you liked this video, don't hesitate to subscribe for more practical advice on maintaining your diesel vehicles.